Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today, we're gonna kick off the last few episodes of Michael's 1993 RX-7 Touring. We're gonna get into the detailing, auction prep, and photos necessary for listing this car on a site like bringatrailer.com. Now, Michael did a great job taking care of this car, and really what I want to do is give it that deep clean and just really showcase how nice of a car it is. There's a lot of work that goes into this between the undercarriage, the interior, and the exterior of the car. So I'm probably gonna break this up into a couple of sections just because we'll put several hours, tens of hours, into getting this car into the best possible condition it can be in. Now, in today's episode, I'm gonna take you back to when we pressure washed the underside, degreased, and scrubbed down the undercarriage of this car and if I have time, I'll show you some of the engine bay work that we'll also be getting into as far as cleanup and prep. Now, I originally was gonna take this and have this done, but just like most things, I'd rather walk you guys through the process. I have brought my friend Bobby over to help with the washing, with the prep, and then most importantly, with his professional touch, taking care of the swirl marks in the paint. He did a fantastic job, and I'm sure you guys can see it's already shining brilliantly after that work, but we'll get into the exterior detail another day. So why don't I get you guys off where we left off, which is the car was headed outside to get pressure washed, degreased, and I'll take you through the whole undercarriage detail process I use to really clean these cars up to show off you know, that nice low mile condition that this car is in. So let's get started.
Well guys, now that the car is back in the shop, it's been a day or two, I've let it completely dry out, and we're gonna start tackling probably the biggest part of this, which is the undercarriage detail of this thing. Now, here in Oregon, this was a fair weather driver, meaning it's got some buildup, dirt, just grime underneath the undercarriage. And because I wanna take really good photos, of how clean this car really is, I gotta clean that up. So we're gonna break out one of my favorite tools, which is a steam cleaner. And I'm gonna talk about this more as I go along um, through the process. I'm reshooting this because I wanna give you guys some details ahead of time as you watch me go through and do this. I'm also gonna go ahead and take care of some other things under the car while I'm there, like getting those front brake calipers painted and just doing a more thorough inspection. Something that seems to always happen is the cleaner you get something, the easier it is to find the flaws. And there's nothing wrong with this car, but I'm starting to kind of add up all the things in my head that I've seen that really help me rank and rate my expectations of what this car should go for at auction. I'm really looking forward to it because in this market, I have no idea. Used to have a half decent idea, none now. So let's get back into the tools. We're gonna break this steamer out. I think it's still got a little in it. Ooh, it's been sitting a while. But this thing is fantastic. I love it for engine bay, interior, and exterior. So we're gonna use this guy heavily. We're gonna use just some more purple power. And when things get really tough, we're gonna try a trick someone showed me a long time ago. So hopefully we won't need to scrub too much, but I'm probably lying to myself. I've even got some white scotch bright out and just some regular water to flush everything off. And anytime I'm dealing with stuff like this, safety glasses and an open shop door are recommended. I'm probably gonna go through about a dozen of these today getting everything under this car cleaned up and refreshed. But that's it. Let's hop into it and uh, we'll show you guys the mess I make today. <laughs> well, everything is cleaning up really nicely under here. I think my OCD is getting the best of me and there's two things I want to tackle. First, we're going to start with these heat shields. I've got out my favorite detailing tool, which is a, a McGolic steamer. We've got some purple power, just all-purpose degreaser mixed up. Hopefully I've got a catch tray under here to catch some of this, but I'm just gonna wipe these down, clean everything up, and uh, see what it looks like.
Man, I love working with that steam cleaner. Highly recommend it. Um, the last thing I want to do while I'm under here, um, now that I've got all the under trays on, I really just want to see if I can clean up these control arms a little bit. Try to do some low effort, uh, effort stuff right now. Um, so we're going to hit it with some of this purple power. If that doesn't work, I've got to trick up my sleeves, but we'll see what happens. I, I definitely see some what looks to be black overspray in here, which is weird. Um, maybe it was, uh, poorly undercoated at some point. Who knows? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and scrub these up and, uh, get this taken care of. Well guys, that definitely helped. Um, there's a lot of overspray and stuff on here and I'd love to get these just nice and shiny and really brilliant, but I don't have the budget or the time to do that. So I'm gonna try a trick someone showed me years ago. Um, I'm gonna try some fume-free, easy off oven cleaner, lemon scent. And I believe I'll, I'll have to check, um, this is a citric acid process product. And we did um, spray this on here while we were um, undercarriage detailing it, but we really didn't have time to let it set and scrub at it. We just kind of hosed it on and off. And I gotta be real careful I don't spray you guys with it because who knows what we'll do to my lens, but we'll just give this a really light coat, let it foam up. I can see I've already hit the camera, so I'm gonna have to wipe that off. But we'll essentially let this stuff foam. And see what happens with a little bit of white scotch spray. I don't wanna use anything too abrasive. Um, it's not my goal. Not trying to make this thing perfect, but definitely having fun. Just uh, seeing how much I can clean it up. And since I'm sure I got you guys, let's wipe that off and hope it doesn't smear the uh, <laughs> the filter there. Well guys, while I waited for that oven cleaner to do its thing up front, I started to clean up the rear a little bit and I realized that I should have pressure washed the arches a little bit better and I started to do some cleaning and not only did I uh, make a complete mess of my shop floor, ugh, and I'm now gonna have to push outside. I went ahead and 
really cleaned these wheel arches out. Not that you guys can see inside there very well with that good shop lighting. But the point is, I think I figured out why these, this car was painted. And we'll go over that in a future episode. But it's nice and clean up here now. Everything's in good shape. And really all that's left to do is uh, clean these arms and clean this muffler. So, yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, Get that stuff off this front arm, well, front suspension, and uh, then we'll take a look at the back. Now that I've made an absolute mess of my shop and my camera, this is the most I've ever had to wipe my camera off. Oh, I'll show you guys something interesting. I wanted to do just, you know, not everyone has a steam cleaner, so I mainly use just a spray bottle of water. I'm wet. My floor is wet. Everything around this is wet. Um, and then look at this side that I did with the steamer. I would much rather spend the time it takes more time i'd much rather end up with that than that and have to do the cleanup over here and back there where i use the spray bottle so i'm going to do some cleanup before we hop to the back because i i'm just so so uh let me quickly get this place picked up and then we'll start on those rear control arms and i think i'll go ahead and pre-spray them just so that they're ready and soaking while i do the rest of everything else.
Well guys, I'm really happy with where we got today on Michael's car. Hopefully I've been able to edit this all together so it makes sense. I kind of jumped around as I got more into the undercarriage detail. Definitely took the focus from the other work I had done. Now, a lot of the things I've put on here, like the Aerospace 303 and some of the other protectants, they're just there to highlight things. I don't want to just smother this thing in high gloss. It's just it's not a good way to present a car. So now that I've got the undercarriage done, I've got a couple of touch-ups. i got to come back, reapply some of that protectant. But otherwise, I think I'm done under here. I'm not going to mess around anymore. And hopefully those wheels are done this week and we can get this thing back rolling and photo ready. But that means I got a lot of work ahead of me because we still have to tackle the engine bay, the interior detail, and seal the exterior from the work Bobby did already. And I gotta show you guys what he's done. So there's still a lot ahead of us, along with a couple of other things we gotta talk about that we found during the detail in a future episode. But that's mainly just because I wanna be, you know, as encompassing as I can. You know, cameras don't hide anything. I'm not trying to hide anything either, especially on a car like this that's going to auction. So hopefully I'll have time this week and we'll make some more progress on it. But otherwise, I am wet, I am cold, the sun's gone down, and it is time to be done for the day. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episodes as we wrap up Michael's car.